Welcome everyone, this is Genesis1295 and we are about to hear from Master619 and Sinister Scotsman about their recent actions on getting betrayed by Eakin from Master619 and winning the world championship from Sinister Scotsman. So let's get into it guys. Oh, and it looks like we cut away from our women's champion Madison Rapture and Chris Rapture. There you are, I've been waiting for you for a while. Did you catch my match? I showed once again why I'm going to be the woman's champion for a very, very long time, Madison Rapture says. I must say congratulations once again, beautiful. But I have something else I want to bring up and that is about Jeremy Stone. What Jeremy Stone said earlier tonight. The problem is, he doesn't know... Wait, the problem is, the problem he doesn't, wait, blah, 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 blah. the problem he doesn't know is that I only cater to winners. He is far from being a winner. So he wanted a main event, and he will get one. The reason I'm telling you this is because I have to leave the arena to take care of some business, and I need you to tell Jeremy Stone, Stone to lace up, because he will be in a match right here tonight. I think I was about to say right here, or whatever, you know. Who exactly is his opponent for tonight? Oh, don't you worry about that. It is all scheduled, and his opponent will be there to meet him in the ring. Okay, well, I have to go. I'll see you at home. And there you have it. Madison Rapture and Chris Rapture. Looks like Chris Rapture is going to go away. They're still talking because the the segment's still going in storyline, so <laughs> that is funny. So now we cut over to myself interviewing Master Six One Nine. And welcome everyone. I'd like to welcome Master Six One Nine. How have you been? coping with losing the tag team championships due to Eakin turning his back on you allowing the universal phenomenons to win hi mayor I think sorry I think I meant to say hi oh well I'm a spelling mistake hi mate good to see you I see a lot of superstars seem to disrespect you backstage when you interview them I see you are only doing your job and you do a good job those people have no right to disrespect you. Therefore, I will not. I will answer your questions with respect. You see, disrespect is a bad thing to do to your work colleagues. Yeah, I hate a lot of people here I work with. However, those people I hate, I do respect as they put their bodies on the line for these fans. Whether they like the fans or not. However, lately... A very good friend of mine disrespected me. His name is Eakin. Me and Eakin used to be good friends when we met in FWE. We had the makings to become the best tag team in FWE history. He had the strength and power. I had speed, agility, and of course, heart. We could have been unstoppable. However, he disrespected me when he turned his back on me. He disrespected all our fans when he turned his back on them. I asked why. I mean, I asked myself why did he do it. The truth is, he is greedy. He looks in the mirror every day and sees a dominant giant. He wants to climb to the top of the FWE on his own. However, what he doesn't realize is that he is on his own. Now he has no friends and no fans on his climb to the top. There are many tough challenges that he will need to face and there will no there will be nobody to support him. He may think he doesn't need anyone else due to his strength and power. He may think that his climb to the top will be easy. Well, Egan, let me tell you this. I am gonna prove why I was the brains and heart of Buffalo Flight. I'm gonna prove why I am the fans' favorite Little high flyer, Eakin, 
I'm going to prove that size does not matter. Because when we meet in that ring, I will beat you, Eakin. I will beat you on my way to the top of FWE. Eakin, you may be stronger than me, but I am faster and I have more heart than you. I respect these fans who will continue to support me in kicking your ass. Eakin, after I, after I beat you, I'm going to climb to the top and you will just fall to the bottom and you will learn... The truth in the saying, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And, uh, yeah, the guy just, just, you know, that was weird. It's probably going to happen in the next video as well because that was, he just like, yeah, walk away. But I'm still talking to you from a distance on the other side. It's okay. So now we head towards me, myself again, to commentate, I mean, interview Sinister Scotsman. Ah, damn it! Okay, I missed the first one, and now everyone... Well, fuck me. I don't even know. Um, probably something about... And now, everyone, welcome back. We are now here with Sinister Scotsman. I'm just guessing that I said that. How does it feel to win your first ever FWE Championship? Well, what else is there to say other than... It was only a matter of time before the greatest man that ever stepped foot in this company won his first major title. I beat everyone that was put in front of me, and I went on to win the big one at Clash of the Champions. I showed that I can perform in high stakes and high pressure matches. I proved that I am a true champion. But most importantly, importantly of all, I proved to everyone that I don't just talk crap. I back it up in the ring. Now nobody can say, wait, no. Wait, I'm a hello, hello, and say all I've got is a big mouth, and as your new FWE heavyweight champion, I demand that you show me some goddamn respect, and once I go on to beat Chris Lord, the world champion, in the main event tonight, I should be in line for a shot at his championship as well and become the first ever undisputed champion here in FWE. But as I know that this is highly unlikely with the idiot figure that is in charge here, and I know I won't get that opportunity, so I guess it's just another chance for me to go out and show... Well, I fucked up right there. <laughs> oh my god. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't. And show... All, I'm sure that's what I said on show, but I must just get screwed up when I wasn't looking at the keyboard thinking that I'm pro or something. It's like, oh, I can type without looking at the keyboard. And show all, I think, all of you haters who is the real, who is the real face of this company by beating one of the top guys here once again. Yeah, I, sorry about my spelling mistakes, guys. It's I'm not a, like, a demented, crazy person, but... That was just my bad, and there we have it, guys. We heard from my Master 619 and Sinister Scotsman, your new heavyweight champion. But now, our next match is a FWE number one contenders match that will face either my hero or Victor next week. It is Francis Lloyd going up against Jack Wiggins. It's next, guys. <laughs> 